Welcome back to Crusader Kings 2 Game of Thrones mod. We are back as Emperor Rhaegar Targaryen and um our many little bastard children. Um last time I left off we were pretty much consolidating some power. Um we were already in a war with uh who was it? Um, one of these guys over here or I think it was Mir helping them against Tyrosh was attacking them for something. And uh so we took care of that. Um, there's still... There's a slave raid going on in Low Wrath, I think. No, it's over. Alright. Yeah, the Dothraki that we have is tributaries. They wanted us to help them raid one of our <laughs> vassals, which I wasn't going to do. Um, the first step, like I said last time, is to pretty up this mess over here. Um, we're definitely going to take the crown from the trident. The Baelish. I have a personal grudge against Baelish for uh, slipping the trident away from Rickon, even though it's probably Rickon's fault. Um, why are you not underneath the North? You need to take care of this, May God. Why are you just letting this happen? Let's see. I don't know. Yeah, I, I understand a lot of them do hate him. They hated Rhaegar for a while. So, I mean, it's probably going to take some time for him to uh, get them to like him. Let me see why most of it is. He did a new obligation law, for whatever that was. He did. He denied title. Um, new obligations. Of most of them. He demanded conversion of some people. I know. i seen that last time. He uh, removed some counselors. Yeah, I don't like this whole White Harbor thing like that. I don't know why we can't uh, declare war against him. Because he is really de jour of the Empire. I mean, he's under the North directly. But the North is under the Empire, so... I don't know. But anyways, we have a uh, King Beyond the Wall. A little nine-year-old. Alan Crow Killer. Um, we could Dragon Conquest. I don't know, I guess we can't. I think we have the neighbor... Uh, this and we have the wall in between us so i think that's how it goes i'm not sure um and then there's lands of always winter which happen to be pink right now <laughs> i don't know the, why it's pink but anyways um when there's a guy with vassalize pretty no uh, false religion it's that's the main problem when you try to vassalize somebody with a different religion you're going to get so many different, like, like 10 negatives out of uh, somebody with a different religion. We're definitely going to knock him down a peg right now. But we need to, we're going to take out the Trident. We're definitely going to um, pull in Tyrosh and Lease next. Um, maybe spend some money on colonization. There are some Ronar uh, single lords here. There's a Dothraki feudal lord. Um, yeah, there's a. There's a couple Ronar. There's one. Oh, he's not Ronar. Two. Three. So there's three. Two Ronar and one Dothraki. Um, the Cell Horus is on his own. So I was going to get him a while ago. But I, just, I don't know why I decided not to do it. But um, Then this guy, Ogo, is his own shit. And then this dude, this Dothraki here is a tributary of us so he just pays us money and he can um we could i think uh yeah we can call him in to defensive wars we can't call him into uh i guess we can call him into offensive but defensive he can't turn down so then um i don't know how far east i want to go i mean because it's like a clusterfuck over here there's all these little single things and i do kind of want to take uh the rest of giscar for like our mom Daenerys, she had only taken Marine. She had like Astapor and Yunkai for a time, and then they would take it back. And so I think I'm maybe taking them too. But I don't know after Giscar, like I don't know how much if we're gonna mess with Car of Et. Actually, I'm surprised Et is all one. They're usually broken up into a hundred different uh, little high lords or princedoms, whatever you want to call them. Um, yeah, he has them all pretty much under him now. I think there's a couple that aren't, like this Pequi one. He's his own thing. Maybe he's at war. Yeah, he's probably why he's not under him. He's at war. 
But yeah, it seems that he has all this under him. Uh, Lang is usually always that whole thing. And then, actually, a shy is usually more broken up, too. They're actually all under one king. Kingdom of the Shadow. And then there's a dragon over here, too. Um, I don't know if it's with him. I think it's this one here. Let's see. I know it's one of these. No, that's him. I'm trying to find where this dragon is. This guy looks high Valyrian. His mom's probably... Oh, his mom's Batarian, which is basically the same thing. You get modifiers for the dragon thing. I know there's a dragon over here. I'm not going to waste all the time looking for it, but... I know it's over here. Unless it left and went somewhere else, which is highly possible. Probably did. The last one will check. Yeah. Probably once. So all I was gonna do is check this. I don't know why I went through all that. Um, show me the dragons. There's uh, this one is in actually in, in the Riverlands. This one's the one that's in a shy. Probably the one I didn't check. Yeah. <laughs> um, then there's another one that's in a shy, which is I thought I looked at that one. Um, this is that one, yeah. And then Drogon, of course, who is in King's Landing right now. Um, I'm surprised he didn't go into the uh, Dragon Pit. I think I could try to put him in there. Let me see. No, I don't know why. Usually when they uh, break off and they're like one of your family's dragons, you can uh, try to lock them up. I mean, he's too, he's too big and shit. I'm not trying to kill myself trying to get him locked up. One of our, my kids, hopefully, will tame him. Let me show you that dragon pit. Yeah, alright. I know it's like a ruin, unless you rebuild it. But you can only rebuild it if you have actual dragon in your ca uh, capital. So, Winterfell has the dragon pit, so Magon doesn't have to worry about that. Um, wherever one of our family takes see, I'm, I'm, I want to take her. See, I can't just take over the trident. Like, I can only vassalize him. I guess, like, I could revoke it from him, but it'd have been great if I could just take it from him and then give it to a, a kid. But all my kids are, are mad young. Like, I mean, my oldest one just turned 20. And then I got another daughter that's 14. One that's 12. And then our heir, who still has snow behind his name, is only 10. So I did um put out a thing to be... Rickon's guardian. He's Northman culture and old gods. I'm gonna leave him that way. I'm not gonna mess with his heritage. Um, <clears throat> so he could be my one kid that's like Northman. <laughs> mm. Then there's another one that yeah, she's with my former lover, and I uh, taking her as guardianship because I want my kids with me. But I don't want them being married off to crazy shit. And, they make terrible decisions when you don't have them. Uh, my yeah, and my my era has a dragon egg from Drogon. Hopefully, it's a big monster when it hatches. If he hatches it, I've been gotten lucky so far. Um, and then we have uh, my daughter has Tessarion, who's eight, and his marshal. The marshal's the same, but it's pretty cool. As it, it, long as it's the same as the age or higher, like they usually turn out really, really good. Um, this is my sister wife's dragon. It's not terrible, but as long as like if you got it like half the age, that's normal. Or uh, Rhaegal is Magon's, and he's really weak though. He's forty eight, and he's only got fifteen marshals. He's wounded too. Uh, that was, yeah, it takes ten marshals, so he would have twenty five. So he's at least half his age. I wonder how he got him wounded. Um, Wolfbane is ours. He he's doing pretty good. He's he's more than half his uh marshal his age. I like the the picture. It's like roaring fire and red. Uh, red's my favorite color too. Um, and then Viserion is our other our little brother, Maelor, who is pretty strong too. He got thirty four marshal. He's only forty eight. It's crazy white color. Um, yeah, so he just tamed Viserion out of nowhere, so, but he's got some problems. He's, uh, got gonorrhea, and he's a lunatic. His heir is betrothed to one of my bastard daughters, and, um, I said I was gonna, um, uh, legitimize all of them, which I, I am, but I'm, I'm gonna do it over time, because 
you get too much negative out of it. Your uh, your wife doesn't like it, which I don't really care about that. But the kids, like our uh, my trueborn kids, it makes it minus fifty every time you do it. So it only lasts for like three years. So like every three years, I can do it. If I'm getting to the point, like if I get sick or some kind of illness, I'll just do them all at once. So he says, legitimized bastard. So it's not even another year. Until uh, that'll go away and then we can just do another one. I think I'm going to do the sons first. Just to have them done. Just in case anything happens to my one son. I mean, I prefer male heir. I mean, she's not bad. But, I don't know. I just prefer a male heir. Um, so, okay. We're going to go ahead and... um. Let me start this freaking timer. Because I've been doing these way too long. Um, Try to keep it like 30 minutes. Max. No. Alright. Er, it started. Alright. So, um, go ahead and start this war with the Trident. Matter of fact, first, now, we need to, uh, do coordination. It is, uh, legitimize my rule a little better. So, we have to pay 30 gold for that. Alright. <laughs> my, my high priestess is my lover, so I don't have to worry about being denied. <laughs> I have expressed my wishes and desires for a coronation at the Red Temple of the Lord of Light to High Priest Gail. Uh, hopefully she will accept my request so that I, don't, I can begin inviting my lords to attend the coronation ceremony. And like, I don't care if I get called another war. If there's three wars going on at once. I don't care. I'm taking the trident this episode. To his most holy grace, Emperor Rhaegar, first of his name. In the name of the Lord of Light, I, High Priest Gale, would like to offer you my blessing to allow your coronation in the Red Temple as King of the Andals, the Ronar, and the First Men, Lord of the Seven Kingdoms, Protector of the Realm, under my guidance. Excellence. Send out the message to invite all my lords. Uh, what the, why is this guy? Why would I care if you come? You're not even under me. Why are all these people that are under the, the West? Like, none of these people are under me. I don't care. As long as the Lord Paramount's come. It's like everybody... And it wasn't really that bad. Alright. Shall I bring all my... Oh, hey, yeah, I forgot. We have uh, Red Priest and Farron Cross, who's High Valyrian. And R'hllor. Uh, we put our seduction skills on her now. Let me turn down the speed. Alright. The best part about preparing a feast is deciding what food stuff to serve. I much purchase venice, venison, boar, and duck, spices, wine, and ale, honey for desserts, cheeses, and perhaps even a swan or peacock. We will, of course, spend lavishly. We are an emperor. Uh, yeah, I got a non-aggression with her, just because she's she's tired. She left the one faction. She's not in that. Who owes me favors? Is she one of them? No. I don't think so. No. Uh, we have Willis Tyrell, Terrence Lannister, Catherine. So it's almost every... Hey, she, it is her. I wonder if we can get her to join the faction Leech Loyalist ones. I don't think so. Because we're not the ones uh, that are leading it. Let's see. I can't use a favor to make her demand conversion. I might ask her to, though. She's 70. Uh, I'll wait a little bit. Let me get through this first. Let me see all the people that are me. Uh, only really thing I can do is call on council support. I might do that. He's a little old, so I might actually get him, try to see if he'll convert. It probably won't do much for the kid. The kid's going to probably stay the way he is. This is the one that's, uh, he had kids with my sand day. Uh, and then I had non-aggression with my one brother. Where is my... Do I have one of my other brother? Yeah, alright. Try to keep, you know, family... Cool and not fighting each other. I gladly accept guardianship contract. Yeah, so I got my one daughter with me now. I'll probably let somebody else, uh... Educator when... Hopefully he comes out to be a marshal for me. It looks more like he's gonna be diplomacy... He's got indolent. Hopefully that turns into charitable. If so, he's probably going to be more based on diplomacy. I don't know if indolent is one of the negatives against uh, Marshall. I know Timmit is the one that, yeah, the one that's Timmit, I think, yeah. All right. 
And then we got little Rick on Snow. I'm not going to change his thing. I'm going to let him be who he wants to be. All right. You need to end your plot, but you won't. There's so much money you want in gold. He's trying to fabricate on the north. We can't have that. Yeah. All right. So, after this feast, we are going to go to war with the Chata. My vassal Lord Paramount Magon Targaryen's requested Captain Rick. Yeah, all these sellsword that I just realized uh, before I started, I was looking at the vassals. All these sellswords that, that are un they came under the north or under me. For, I guess they followed me, but they should have stayed in the north. But yeah, I'll give them to him. At least a couple of them. Uh, the Lords of the Realm have started arriving in King's Landing for a coronation ceremony. They have been offered shelter, bread and so horse, pale green wine. Is their guest right? Over the coming days, there shall be much feasting for the Grand Coronation. So, a lot of people came. I mean, he's very well liked for... I was highly surprised. I mean, the Daenerys sucks so bad. They're probably, like, great. There's one negative. He's a sellsword. It don't matter. Uh, and then there's a... Master of Flea Bottle doesn't really like me, but other than that, it's not bad for being a. Uh, I mean, he's not that bad of a person, he's just a womanizer. Not that that doesn't matter, but that's his character. I try to role play him, so. Your Paramount, Lord Paramount, make it, make on it. There it goes. About time you did this. How many men does he have? Nothing. He don't have that many either because his vassals hate him. Um. Let me see. I wonder. I can't help him probably. But I can see him messing this up. Oh yeah, I can. Well, we'll just help him if he needs help. If not, then. Since they have phrased, you their attendance at the feast of King's Land to present a petition for justice before the court. She claims that Lord Paramount Ronald Aaron made an attempt on her life demanding he brought to justice. Uh, he is a Valerian. I oh, know she's Salt Dornish. She's the sister of the... What you call, what's this guy? Why has he got a turban on? <laughs> I don't know. Uh, I guess he tried to kill her. Hell with the phrase. I don't want to get arbitrary, so I'll just make him pay. <laughs> All right, um, you committed much gold to the extravagant feast. In particular, the guests were impressed with the large centerpiece on the dice table. It represented a green lawn surrounded with large peacock feathers and green branches, to which were tied violets, other sweet-smelling flowers. In the middle of this fortress was placed covered in, with silver. Uh, the fortress was hollow and formed a sort of a cage in which several live birds were shut up, their tufts and feet being gilt. On its tower, which was gilt, the banners of House Targaryen were placed. So I got 30 prestige. Some of the guests did not seem satisfied with the food, but I would never have thought one of them would have complained out loud. Mary said a lot of nasty stuff about the food, and I couldn't help but feel irritated. I think this is our, yeah, our daughter's matrilineally married husband. I tried to find, like, a decent high Valyrian. He was a commoner, but I guess he took a house name. Then again, I don't know. Maybe he had that already. I can't remember. I'm attending a festive outing with Red Priest Illyria. Unfortunately, half the court is also here, and I'm having trouble getting any time alone with my Emerus quarry. So we'll leave a note to meet by the stream. Uh, I waited for hours by the stream, but that the Red Priest Illyria would be able to shake her friends and chaperones to meet me. But the sun is about to set. She is clearly not coming. Uh, she's not chased, so we won't give up. We need all the high Valerian little bastard babies we can have. Um, we can call for dragon riders, I guess, for Drogon. But I'm not doing that. Because there'll be somebody that's not my kid. That'll do it. Alright, gladly accept your offer. This should be over with. My vassal, Archon Tormo Forgare, has tried to have Stormsinger, blah, blah, blah. The Moonsinger was arrested but failed to apprehend. It's all futility and rebellion, however. And... Travel to Bravos to seek justice. Alrighty. Alright, crowning of the king. In the name of the Lord of Light, Rhaegar of House Targaryen, the first of my name, promise, pledge, and guarantee in the sight of the heart of fire that I will be protector and defender of the realm and always useful to it. 
however many, insofar as I am supported by divine assistance according to my knowledge and ability. Today I was crowned by I was crowned by Emperor Rhaegar. <laughs> That's stupid, man. Uh, formerly received a title, King of... I should be Emperor, but whatever. 100 Prestige. It says the same thing over. He is no Emperor of mine, it said. Oh, <laughs> uh, God. Uh, yeah, we're not going to call Dragon Riders. I think it wouldn't have been that big a deal if my kids were uh, of age. So, um... Now's the time to take back the Trident. See, how many, I don't know how many men he has. I know it's nowhere close to what we have. Alright, so we're going to war. So everything breaks up. Now, he has 13,000. We have, still have 48,000, even after all that's broken up. So we'll see what all the lords come out to help defend the crown. And then we're definitely going to help him too. So, uh... What is exactly under me? Alright, so that's under me. That is. That is. And I think Marine. Yeah, cause I think we have Marine. Yeah. Alright. So we still have a lot under us directly. And probably most of these guys are going to come. We're not going to put anybody in the council positions just because I'm not putting the uh, people back that I had there in the first place. Let me see who's at war that I can com command in war. Where's this guy? Oh, it turned out to be us just against him now since we joined it. Okay, I, oh, that's the wrong one. Yeah, it, it's just we're the mean person now. That's fun. Alright, um, I don't see any of his men raised. <laughs> unless he just hasn't raised them yet. There we go. Alright. Imperial Majesty, I honor my allegiance. Um, this is the Archon of Lorath and Cohort. Damn. He's a little powerful. You know what I mean? Men, though. <laughs> Alright. Um, our brother down the Basilisk Isles. I mean, the Stormlands. The Vale. Uh, Mir. The Reach. Pentos. The Westerlands. Seems like everybody came out. Uh, he gave up. I see no point in conflict with you or your dragons. I <laughs> hereby surrender and will swear you my fealty forthwith. Alright. So we gain 300 prestige. Uh, he becomes King Corwin, the king who knelt. Released their crown. Be named Lord Paramount of the Trident, swearing fealty to New Valyria. He probably hates us, though. Yeah. Usurp title. It says we're at war still, but that's not true. Alright. Still hates us. Usurp title, declare it war, defeated me, subjugated, whatever. <laughs> Again, 14 opinion. Yeah, we're not gonna waste the gold on that. Alright, now we can go take care of, uh. Whoa, what happened? He gave up too, I guess. Yeah, he said the hell with it. Alright. We'll give him back to our brother out there. Everything goes about That was stupid. Man, I was looking forward to pounding his ass into the dirt. Alright. I guess we'll just take on Lee or Tyrosh unless they give up too. The war has been won. Our enemy's armies have been crushed. The loyalist forces have been defeated. Lord Paramount Corwin Baelish, one of your opponents, has been brought before you to hear your judgment. Ooh. Um. Man, I'm not gonna... I'm not gonna... Uh do anything to him. We'll just take a hostage. Cause he didn't he didn't raise up against us. Yeah. You know, I was with our mom and she didn't want to deal with it, so I can't blame him. So he gave up. That's fun. He's married to a Dane. Oh yeah, but we'll take one of your uh your heir as a hostage. Definitely. He should come to us after them pauses. What happened here? Why is our Kingsguard? Does not make any sense? I don't understand why he's in trouble. <laughs> I think all of our Kingsguard are. Yeah, leave him be. Who's this? Edric Wild. Yeah, I don't know why they did that. I wonder if it's like a bug or something. Tomko Lowe is still alive? Oh my god. 
He was given to our to John in the beginning. Sixty two years old. He's got diarrhea though. He's probably gonna live. Uh Olador Slint. Wow, the slints are still around. That's crazy. He's still got a brother too. He's homosexual and not married, so their line's probably gonna die out. Oh no, there's actually nine of them. Alright. That was weird. I wonder why they did that. Alright, everybody else come under. Come back. I wonder why they're not coming back. You better, because I will take you to war. It'll probably take a little bit. Mm. Pirates have been marauding in increasing numbers all along the coast of New Valeria recently. Worse, there is a rumor among the common folk that the pirates are being aided by... What? I hope that's not true, brother. Uh, why isn't... The damn... Alright, here we go. Come under. Now, it's a nice pretty red all the way down from the north, from the wall to Dorn, to the arbor. Alright. Um, let me give my brother, uh, Manderly. Manderly's a pain in the ass anyways. Um, we can usurp some titles for some reason. Alright, we're not going to do that. <clears throat> Alright, uh, I managed to chance upon Illyria alone in the kitchen when she came down for her usual late night snack. We talked and laughed for hours and I could tell the attraction was growing. Hoping I read her correctly, I leaned in a whisper in her ear. Of course, we'll confess our love. We're a lover. Alright, she accepted. Alright, so we'll take her on as a lover. We still have room. <laughs> We have, our wife is our lover again. She got pissed before, but time went by, and she's seen the futility of her uh, turning us down. Yeah, we'll repoint the old council. Um, who's, who doesn't have a... What are you doing? You can collect taxes. Alright, um, you're going to train the children. No, you're not. <laughs> you suck. Um... Damn, that's right. I meant I didn't mean to put that guy there, man. He sucks so bad. I should have put this chick. Serona. Too late now. Um, how old is he? Damn, he's only thirty-four too. I should. My kids would be good enough to. My son, my heir is already skilled. So I don't have to worry about him. Um, Rickon though. Let's put him so he doesn't get married. Uh. Why can't we force train him? We're not commanding, so I don't see... He's eight years old. That's weird. Davos is seven. When's he, when's he eight? Uh, I think maybe... No, I would have said at least. Um, I don't know. All right, so I guess we'll just take out one of these guys. At least start it before I end this. <coughs> um... I'm thinking maybe more lease first. Yeah, we'll, we'll deal lease first. Let's see. They won't off. They won't vassalize, of course. Oh, we can't do dragon conquest. I don't want to emancipate them. I definitely don't want. They got a lot of gold though for that embargo. It's six hundred thirty-three gold. I don't want to waste a truce on that though. What's up with the dragon conquest? Maybe I have to wait a minute. Sometimes it takes a minute to kick in. Alright, we'll have him just... Yeah, I definitely want to train the children because he's going to end up messing it up. Uh, Who do we have as commanders first? I don't think they need to be any better. Yeah, we'll just put him to increase the levy. And King's Landing. Um... Uh, we need one of these dudes. Uh, I guess Willis is a... He's gonna die. We'll put the dude in Andalus, I guess. This is actually Bronze's uh, son, Howard Blackwater. <laughs> uh, yeah, he's gonna die anytime. We'll put him... Uh, we don't need to make claims on anything. As long as we can still uh, Dragon Conquest... 
I really want to uh, try to get him to convert. <laughs> but it isn't going to really matter. I think he's got heart pain. Yeah. If we convert him, it isn't going to do anything. It isn't like his son's going to convert. Why can't we arrest Stannis? Stannis is trying to plot to kill the Arkham of Bravos, the 83-year-old silent monster who was chosen by Relore. I want to see how long he's going to live. Uh, Robert Strong is also, I think, 82. Um, let's see. Man, it's a lot of command and wars. They're fighting the Blackwoods. Yeah, if they, if they have a Lord Paramount over them, I don't get involved. We have prisoners still, I guess. Call Lord Hack Drum for trial. He doesn't have any money, so we can't ransom him. It's going to be forever before he can get that. We can take his sword. Haha, -ha, that's what we're going to do. We're going to steal Red Rain from him. It doesn't belong to you anyways. I'll give it to one of my kids. Boom. Alright, now I'm going to banish you to the wall. <laughs> Oh, I can't. I got to call him for trial. Can't execute him. I guess we can keep him and see if he gets... How much money does he make him all? Not much. I'll keep him for like a couple years. If he doesn't get the money by then, I'm just going to call him for trial. Can I like give him to him? I could make him change religion. No, I can't. Oh, I thought you were able to do that with prisoners and then it would release him. Whatever. All right. Come on. Let me. Unhappy with their leadership, mutineers have risen in Talon. What do I care? Oh, uh, that's under. What's his name? What does it say? Peasant Revolt. Huh? Corsair. Oh. Uh, uh, I don't know why it says Peasant Revolt. He's not peasant. He's only got 463 men. Uh, can we please go to war now? What the hell? I don't know what happened to the Dragon Con. Can we do it with... Uh, no. Why are we not able to do Dragon Conquest? I don't understand. Alright. It grieves me to hear your troubles. However, I can assure you that I have nothing to do with the pirates that plague your coast. Yeah, we'll believe him. Alright, I don't really like that I can't do this. Alright, your Imperial Majesty, my mission to improve your good name so far has been a success. With the High Septon. What do I care if he likes me? Um, yeah, let me get you to do something else. Not really else I can get him to do. I guess we can have him trying to do a claim just in case this dragon, uh... Conquest thing. I don't know why it's not on there. Just to make sure it's just not. I don't even have a cast his belly for him. That's weird because our main title is uh, Empire New Valyria. Now, if you look at the de jure of Empire New Valyria, it consists of all that. So I should be able to de jure war them anyways. I don't know what's going on. It's kind of making me pissed. Uh, at least it's a nice, solid red color now. I do hate that border gore. Um, I guess we'll send this dude to try to make a claim on... He's not going to be able to take the whole kingdom, so it doesn't matter. Oh, I guess we'll just put him in Tyrosh for now. Everybody else doing shit. Yeah. There's our... Is any of our lovers pregnant? Let me check. She's not. She's not. She's not. She's definitely not. And she's not. Alright. We're probably done with the, the making of babies. Our son really needs to crack that egg. Everybody lies in the courts here of the King's Landing are no exception. One of them dared speak up and tell me I was too cynical and everybody... Not everybody loves. She's the other girl we were trying to seduce. She's too old. Let me see if there's anybody. High Valyrian that's not 100. We do have this mirrorish girl. For some reason, I, I tried real hard before her and she 
didn't want to, she wasn't having it. Um, and she's already our lover. She's our lover. There's a couple of them that I thought weren't. I really don't want to, uh, she's 55, Jesus. She's 25. Associate Valerian. Hmm. Rayal, she's 50. She's 28. I guess it wouldn't matter. Um. I guess we'll try. Just nothing else to do. After Nessa told me not everybody lies, I started laughing. I told her if she could prove that I would start believing in mankind again. Alright. I shall bring my seduction skills to bear. Um, come on, man. I want to take over the world. Ah, I think there we go. It's back. I don't know why it went away. All right, we'll start with Elise. At least we got like five minutes. Um, she has a Valerian steel sword. Truth. I thought that was usually the root guards. Yeah, she must have took it from him. I'm going to give that one Valerian Steel Sword to my second son, I think. Let me see. It's in our treasury. Yeah, Red Rain. We have Long Claw Red Rain. We have Heart Eater, too. I can give to one of them. Uh, Heart Eater is not a Valerian Steel Sword, but it's still decent. Uh, at least it's your turn. Dragon Conquest. Boom! Uh, we'll go ahead and raise the arms. Damn, 77,000? Are you serious? It's a complete overkill. Now, they didn't break off this time for some reason. I wonder why. Whatever. Alright, um, we have a lot of boots now. Let's see. <laughs> Only 15 of them are over here, though. <laughs> we have, uh, I think the Bloody Flux coming Maybe it's not going to come this way. It's been in that one spot for a while. Um, let's have everybody go to King's Landing. And we need some boats. So we need to bring some of them over here. There's 300 of them. Actually, how many are over here? Well, they need them to get off the island. Uh, is my brother under me? No, okay. Um, these guys can just meet up there. They got a lot of men. Oh, let's bring them right there. Uh, we can bring these boats. Do they have enough over here? I assume. Yeah, alright. I'll bring these ones over there in case they need them. They have some men that are kind of far away. Let's bring them there. Um, oh, we got 18,000 right there. I think we'll lead that one for now, so we can just roll in there. We'll definitely lead it now. Our son's at least to the age that we want to wait forever if he's a needs a regent. So the reason I don't like leading armies is uh, when your heir is like not of age, and you gotta sit around for years not being able to do anything. I think we'll have our uh, our wife with us, and then our king's guard. We'll have them come down here, go straight. Yeah, we do need the boats to get the actual island at least there. So I think we'll just troop down here, and then we get down here, we'll probably head over that way, or I'll send one of the other ones. All right, um, you guys get on your boats and come to the mainland. Bring you right there. Uh, these guys need to, oh, there's a hundred right there. Um, yeah, bring it over here and then you guys can go there. Let me make sure there's enough supply limit before I go trooping through here. All right, yeah. These guys are coming down already. That boat's going there. They're going over there. Everybody's moving. All right. Alright, Bravos is coming, the North, uh, Lower Athen Cohort, Norvo, this guy's been locked up for a while. Can I ransom him? I feel bad. Who's this captain? 
It's the Lord of Norvos took the high priest, the bearded priest. It's blasphemy. All right. And that guy's actually under him, which is funny. Alright, I guess everybody's gonna come. Oh, the Stormlands told me to go F myself. It's rather rude. He doesn't like me for some reason. Desires the seven kingdoms of the Iron Throne? Are you serious? Uh, I guess they all will. Just because that's not my main title. Travelers bring rumors of fire and blood. They said that dragons live once more and that Princess Daenerys Targaryen now rides Drogon. What? <laughs> my little 14 year old took over Drogon. Oh my god, I did not expect that. She's not even betrothed to anybody either. We probably gotta get her match and literally married. <laughs> and she's a freaking beast now. She took over big ass Drogon. I did not expect that. Not from the... I mean, I guess the girls have just as much chance as the guys do. Very sexist on me, so... Um... I think we need a general. A couple of them, actually. Um... That guy's good. Uh... Gaunt. And... Riker. Uh, get ready to stop here. Um... What else do I need to do? Nothing, really. This guy wants to kill my spy master, which is okay because she can handle it. Um, <clears throat> I really want to get. I'll just wait till I'm done and I'll get her married to somebody. Hold on, that's Daenerys. Yeah, she needs to be betrothed or married or something. All right, um, they're all moving. Everybody's going. They're supposed to be going. Nice. Alira Snow is now... What? She should be with me. I'm a guardian. Not in Elkstone. Did Rickon come here? No, see, that's weird. It says he's still there, but... He should be, like, where we're at. Alright, uh, whatever. Um... Lord Crom of the Shield Isles declared war against tyranny. Lord Paramount Willis... I guess it's just him. Uh, under my guidance, my young bastard son, Rickon, is slowly mastering art of swordsmanship. Nice. I guess because they're not officially under us, we can't make them all. My one son is still seven. All right. Yeah, there's no rush. I'm off, I'm off warring right now. Everybody's moving relatively slow. Lyria claims that she started to show signs of pregnancy after our last night of lovemaking. She said she, she would drink moon tea to prevent the scandal's birth. You would kill my unborn child? Imperial Majesty would receive word from Tyro. She led a coalition in defense of Elise. Yeah, that's great. That's fine with me. Agree to not take moon tea and we'll have your child. She's begrudgingly bear your bastard. <laughs> All right, we see where Sahoris is helping him. That's fine. Um, all right, where's that 18,000 at? They're taking a very long time. All right, we got 1,800. These guys just got off the boat. These guys are making their way up there. Uh, let's see where's everybody at? They're getting there little by little. We're at the end of the, um, it's already 30 minute mark. So, I will start off from where I left off here next time. Probably tomorrow. Probably try to get out all four of the, uh, different series tomorrow since I have all. So, hit, make sure you hit the like button, subscribe, and I will see you in the next one. Later.